I'm going to say something to you that you're going to hear a lot. You were awesome in this movie. Thank you. <laughs> How did you find out you got the job? Well, um, I remember when the email came through, I ran around my house screaming for about five minutes. <laughs> and I didn't even get halfway through the email, and I read it all, and I found out who would be in it. And I was amazed because my mum and dad knew all these actors and I knew some of them as well. And it was just, <laughs> it was just crazy. Which and ones did you know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it was just crazy. <laughs> Kieran, what, what impressed you the most about, about you? This is his very first feature film. Um. Yeah, when um, I was introduced to Jude the first time and uh, Ken had uh, told me um, that he was an Irish dancer, um, it struck a chord with me because I did Irish dancing for about 15 years myself and I thought, I wonder what this little fella is like. And in this open-hearted, uh, imaginative, brilliant young fella walked and uh, I knew within a couple of seconds that we were going to have a a real adventure making the film because he was a gift to us from Ken and I think now you'll understand he's a gift to the world as well. Yeah. Jude, uh, what was it like working with Kieran, with Jamie, with Katrina? Like, what did you learn from them? I learned so much from each and every one of them. Huh. Uh, yeah, I mostly just asked for a bunch of advice about acting, and that really helped me understand the acting community a lot better. And even working with Ken and having him as my director and writer is just mind-blowing. <laughs> 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 and each and every single one of these actors is extremely talented, and they're all just really, really nice people. So, so this is your first film. Jude, you want to do it again? At uh, 101%. <laughs> One of my favorite scenes of the movie is the scene between Ma and Pa, where Pa acknowledges that Ma raised the kids just so beautifully. Yeah. I thought that moment was so impactful for the story. So Jamie and Katrina, can you talk about your memories of filming that scene and also getting the direction from Ken as well? That was the this, this scene when I, you know, you know I, 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 I think I, I'd said yes in my mind before I even opened the script based on the you know, personnel uh, surrounding the film. But um, that was the moment that really like punctured me in the script. Um, so when we shot that scene, uh, we, we shot it first from the angle that it plays in and you know, by the way, this one fell asleep for real. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that says about what Ralph and really I were getting up to. There's a really low soundtrack of little <laughs> snores throughout that scene. Uh, yeah, not great for the confidence, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but, he's very method. Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. But this movie is also about the importance of grandparents. And Jude, I want to ask you, Benny loves his grandparents so much in this movie. I didn't have a chance to grow up with my grandparents because they remained in Italy while the family moved to Montreal. What's your connection with your grandparents now? And how does this movie resonate with you in that regard? Um, well, my relationship with my grandparents is very like buddy with his grandparents in the film. And I feel like grandparents are just some people that you can go to talk to if there's any trouble at home that you don't really want to share with anyone else. And yeah, <laughs> and yeah, I think Buddy in the film really relies on his pop and his granny if he ever needs anything. Jim, what was it like for you to film the scenes with the riots, you know, with all the commotion and chaos? Well, <laughs> it was crazy filming them because just a bunch of things were going on at one time, but it was ex it was so exciting, <laughs> and it was probably one of my most favorite scenes, and I just loved the thrill of everything that was going on, and I was pretty scared as well on the day, just because everything looked so real and like it was actually happening, and yeah. But how did you feel as you went stage by stage? Well. As soon as I read um, what it was going to be about, like it was about Belfast back in 1969 and the Troubles, 
I watched a bunch of films and like YouTube videos to understand it. Mm. And after watching that, I was like, this is a really important part of history in Ireland where I live, so yeah. I gotta do this. Yeah, so yeah. I did hard work and got it. What, what, what? <laughs> Get in line. What was what was the scary what was the scariest part of the process for you though? Was it was it right down the end when we all got together, or what was? Uh, did you get sort of anxious or whatever, or were you always kind of kind of feeling well, easy come, easy go? Well, once I found out I got the part, I was a bit nervous because I've never done anything like this before, so I was a bit like, "Ooh, how's this gonna go?" But then. The first day that I ever met everyone, I was just immediately calmed down by how easygoing they all were and how down to earth everyone is, mm. and that really helped.